Hey, what's up everybody? So I've picked up this Sony Trinitron off of Craigslist and it looks to be in really good shape on the outside. However, it does have some problems somewhere on the inside and I'll explain. Uh, this is the KV-24FS100. So it's an earlier model of the Vega series. Um, I believe that it does not even have any 16 by 9 enhancements at all, which is fine. I was more interested in the size over everything. It's just something that I can easily carry around. Anyhow, um, to start off with, it did come with the original remote. Um, though I have heard that these are mostly interchangeable. I put fresh batteries in the remote. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug her in and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, it's plugged in. And if I go to the remote and I hit the power button, nothing happens. I've been told that this IR receiver or the, the light bulb LED should be responsive and lighting up and it doesn't seem to be doing that at all. I did try it with somebody else's remote, a different Sony remote. It also had no response. So can't use the remote for now even though it's got fresh batteries. Moving on, powering on the unit manually. We've got a flashing LED in the front. We hear the whoosh, whatever sound that is, powering up. And the last time that I had plugged this in, it seemed as though the tuner or whatever was like flashing through channels. Like it was just randomly searching for channels or whatever. Today it does not seem that that's the case. That I didn't see the, the channels changing at the top. Um, boy, this is probably going to come out funky because of the refresh rate. But there is some writing down in the bottom left in yellow. I believe it says no signal, so I think we're on the tuner input. If I grab the remote again and try to do anything, like if I say input, like TV video or something, there's no response. Uh, if I hit any of these buttons, nothing happens. Now, the last time I tried this, we were not able to even change really effectively the settings, even with the buttons manually. So, if I look at... On the far left, it says TV video. If I click that, nothing changed. Click, nothing changed. Uh, moving to the right, I have volume down and volume up. So volume down, it looked like it was changing an input or something because now the channels are, are scrolling on the top right. I can't read them very well, but it's like single digit, double digit, 22, 5, I don't know. It's like it's tuning or something, and I just pressed volume. Um, so there, it looked like it was almost trying to change volume up, but then it flashed back to this tuner. Moving to the right, we have two buttons for channel down and channel up. Channel down, it's trying to do something. Channel up, channel down. If I press channel down, it's almost trying to do something. TV video, there, video one. Now, if it would stay on that, that would be great, but historically it had not been. But for now, it seems like it is, which is great. That's the furthest I've ever gotten with it. Um, If it's gonna stay there, maybe I'll try and plug something into it. We'll press pause for now. Okay, so I have my input plugged in now. We're back on the main tuner screen. Let's see if we can get it to stick on an input. I have it plugged in the back. 
I believe that's video one. I believe the front is video two and the component is video three. Let's see if it sticks. Luck. Let's try the volume down. Volume down, flash the screen, volume up. Uh, it looks like the volume is actually going up. Uh, channel. Channel down. Oh. oh, I nearly had something there. TV, input. Oh, oh damn it. So video one, it doesn't stay. It, it switches back to the tuner through video two. I mean, I don't know. It's something going on with the buttons or that front panel or the connecting. Uh, I don't know. But something needs to be fixed. So between the buttons not functioning properly on the front and the, re the remote not taking signal, um, I think something needs to be fixed in this front panel, this input output or whatever area here. Um, let me know what you all think in the comments below and um, in the next video, I think I'll crack open the case and have a look inside at the boards. Look at all the dust and see what it looks like maybe. All right, let me know what you think.